Hi, how you doing? Are you just joining us? This is the Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here city, mm, in this here county. In fact, let's just say world. Yes, I'm that confident that we are lit. <laughs> and it's a daily show, Monday all the way through Friday, 7 a.m. all the way till till two till two, just pick one till 10 a.m my name is valentine or at color me val and everything and you can find us at white five on facebook y254 channel on twitter hashtag is y in the morning so to manza with a very 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 interesting beat i don't know if it's a high note but it was a very good beat we we and by we i mean me and sankaraka yeah, so we reviewed a couple of videos and had a very good time nani mekwana arafat sana sana po kwa yu gali kiji flash <laughs> Hashtag is two in the morning and now we are going to bring to you a very phenomenal lady and she is doing a lot of things a lot of things and I, I people who are philanthropists while they're doing life like basically that means they go out of their way to find time and and resources to do what they're doing for the community I think these people are Okay, and I'm going to book a seat because I'm still trying to be good enough <laughs> to go to heaven. <laughs> but let her introduce herself. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Salimia watu tuongelesh. All right. Good morning, viewers. My name is Stephanie Wanjiro. I come from a family of four. That is, I'm um, 23 years old. And I'm a lady that is so passionate in reaching out to the community, giving back smiles and giving back joy to my atmosphere. Mm -hmm. mm. You do a lot of things that are trans... <coughs> Let me just not confess. <laughs> Can you move further? But hashtag is why in the morning. Why <laughs> did you choose to give back to the community? All right. Why I chose it started from where I was raised, mm -hmm. back in Kibera. Mm -hmm. I can remember life was so tough at that moment because it came to a point even getting something to eat. It was a challenge. Mm -hmm. It came to a point where we'll stay outside begging for food. Mm -hmm. So having been raised in such an environment, that's the time I came to realize as to why I was born. Because going through such a situation, I found myself that despite the fact we didn't have enough food to eat, I found myself giving the little that we had. Because mm -hmm. mom will tell me like, stuff, but I'll be like, Mom, let me just give up. And that's how I realized that I have a calling for giving back to the society. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually, oh, Mona, I want to say a large number of people when you behave. It's as if, you know, you haven't helped me, so why should I help you, you know? If, if I struggled, I had my own struggles and got myself out of them, or maybe I'm totally this idea. No, to say this idea. Let me just say, you got out of that particular hardship by yourself. So, why do you have that heart? Because there are people who have possibly gone through what you've gone through, but they're not going to help anyone because no one helped them. Why do you do that and how do you do it? All right, you know, for you to do that, you have first to identify your purpose and calling in life because if you don't have this purpose, it will be so hard for you reaching out to the community, considering that you yourself you're in a vulnerable place. So when I discovered my purpose as to why I was born, that is giving back smiles to the society, so I realized that despite the fact I don't have that much money to give out, but there's a desire in me, and that's the desire that has compelled me to do more and more. And how I do it is, first of all, it starts from inside, because for you to reach out to such people, for those people to accept you, it has to start from inside. Because if you do with might, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, you'll find yourself doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So how I do it, first of all, I have to arrange my team. I have to tell them that this is, the, okay, before I talk to my team, first of all, I research on the places that you are going to do mm -hmm. The project. So when I come to realize that this community, they have so many challenges mm -hmm. they're facing. So that's why now I reached out to my team. I tell them, by the way, there's this and this place that we need to reach out to them. So when my team gets the information, I assign them duties. Mm -hmm. I tell them that you, you should do this and you should do this. Maybe some they will go to fish out for finances. Some I'll send them go to the place 
try to locate as much as possible how we can be of help to that community. Mm -hmm. Then at I myself am the person who does now a larger part because Despite the fact you have a team, you have to be the forefront. Mm -hmm. You have to be the pace setter because if you wait for your team to do everything, at the end you'll end up not doing any. Mm -hmm. You'll end up not doing anything because this team they're looking at you, and most of them, despite the fact you're working with them, it's you to show them the way. It's you to show them that this is how it's done. This is how it's not supposed to be done. And for them to be part of my team, they have to also as well have a community, have a heart of humanity in them because you cannot gather people who are not having that heart because at the end of the day, they may, they may end up abusing those people we are reaching to. Yeah, that's a real problem. Wow, okay. Talk to me about your hardest project. Oh my, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Let me say, first of all, I cannot say I have a hardest project because when I have a mentality of everything is possible, I've always have a stand that nothing is against me not to do it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, these projects are usually hard for me to... Okay, when I start them, I usually look at a point of staff, we are the ones doing this. So, my hardest point, it comes to a point when we need so much finances. Mm -hmm especially the project that I'm having in West Pocot. Mm -hmm. That's a project I really want to do it, but when I check on the finances that I need, oh boy, I'm saying like, will I be able to do this? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the hardest point, I usually tell myself that no matter how hard it will be, I will not give up because this is something that I've done. This is something that I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. So I usually stand on a mindset that nothing is impossible to me because as long as the extent of your eyes can see, that's the extent of your vision. That's the extent of your boundary. I feel like you're quoting the Bible indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in West Pokot? Okay, in West Pokot, uh, we have identified a school called Lotunale. Mm -hmm. This is a school that it's a muddy school. When you check out the surrounding of it, there are no place to call a class. When you check out the toilets, it's kind of no good. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do in that school, I want to renovate. Apart from doing renovations, I'm also compiling uh, some timber. Unona iaku tengeneza desks. Mm -hmm. So there's some people have identified they're like self to taku tengeneza desk. But all you have to do to let a timber, you see, that's like. So those timber I need to buy. Mm -hmm. I need to buy the reconstruction materials that I need to reconstruct the school. Mm -hmm. I also want, for those students, we also want to do sponsorship, like we want to sponsor their uniforms, especially now they are almost doing KCP. Mm -hmm. So I want, you know, these students, they're not from the same background. So despite the fact they're almost doing their KCP, I want to do like, we hold a program whereby we'll be paying for their food mm -hmm. during that period. Apart from paying for their food, we are also wanting to pay for their school fees for these students because most of them are so vulnerable. But my most vision that I want to do in that school, I want to renovate such that they can have a class place to call a class like the other students mm -hmm. because when it's raining wana mm -hmm. when it's time for food others will not wana food mm -hmm. so also when it comes to their families their parents also want to hold a mentorship program with them we introduce a skill that they will be doing such that they'll be having sustainability at the end of the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the whole package okay <laughs> how do you identify what projects or what particular school or a certain region, how do you know where to help? All right, uh, first of all, I'm a person who sleeps late in the night. Apart from having my busy schedules in the day, I sleep lately at night. And the reason I sleep at night, uh, I usually follow up, first of all, with the news. Mm -hmm. I check up what has been said, what are the problems stated in a different place. Apart from that, I also reach out to my members, like I tell them, like, if you hear, you know, then 
I'm, I'm not like a person of giving back. So when someone calls me and tells me, but there is stuff. Have you heard that this and this situation has happened in a certain place? So you see, that's also another source of me getting to know where to get. Then also from my social media platforms, I follow how people they are going through. Like I can just check my phone, I can maybe West Pokot. I check because most of the people they are used in highlighting all the challenges that are happening. Mm -hmm. So my work is to call that place. Even though I will not have a uh, not reach to the place, I'll call a friend. Tell me, I'll give him or her an assignment. I tell him go and go and research and find out what's going on to that place. Mm -hmm. So after getting the full details or rather the full information, then I follow up from there. Okay, guys, who is feeling like she should become just I don't know, CGCG to Tamfayan, senator, governor, as in gosh, look at all this heart. Ah, I don't think. Me and I'm late at night sometimes, I'm on Instagram. <laughs> even sorry, hashtag is why in the morning. Okay, how has the pandemic affected you? Because I imagine to Likwana, a period where there was either very strict curfew, now before it was 10 p.m., it was 7 p.m., and there were certain regions that we were not allowed to leave or enter. You know, I go at a lockdown for real because, guys, I don't think you understand what lockdown is. The, what people are going through in the UK is lockdown, as in Akuna Kutoa Kwanyumba, because apparently every one in ten people has the COVID and 19 somebody. So it's a bit more intense in other parts of the world. But it still has affected us. It has affected our businesses, it has, it has affected our hustle. It has, and I, I can attest, it has affected me too. So, how did you? find time to help people? How did you help people during this time? Or were you able to help people during this time? Actually, I can say 2019, it started at 2019, right? Mm. So I can say 2019 is my year that I can say it was a great year for me because despite the fact that I was locked down, that's the time I reached out to more and more people because so many people lost their jobs. So many people didn't have access to let me say, I'm going to pay some more yeah, to sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact, okay, there's some projects I had to postpone because there was no movement. Also, it affected me in a way like when you wanted finances, people were like, hey, Steph, so now you have a lockdown. So hearing from people that Nikubaya, it was also another thing. Mm -hmm. But who is God? I never gave up mm -hmm. because despite the fact uh, there was so much up and here, corona, all that, I still stick to my purpose. Mm -hmm. I still focused to what I wanted to do. I can remember there's this project, uh, okay, this is not a project, but it was a program. We were to reach out to the street kids in Gedorai. Mm -hmm. And you know, dealing with street kids in such a place, there were so many. So this is where I call people for assistance. People are like, Steph, we cannot do it. But I took a step of faith. So that's where I started writing messages to companies, EG and Ivers, EG, these big, big companies. So, you know them, I, uh, first of all, I've never recognized myself that I'm little, no. I've always recognized myself that I can do it. I'm a great person. I don't need to wear a suit so that I can reach out to these people, but the God in me will produce what I want to do. So, uh, meanwhile, during that time, I was writing messages, despite the fact they're not maybe reply immediately, I'll take myself there. Then I'm one person. If I really want to do something, I'll not give up till I get it. I can remember there's this uh, organization. In the a point, I do a eh, let me to Sumbua. Let's <laughs> just give you the donations. Hey. Because, you know, people give up so easily. But if you're focused to what you want to achieve at the end of the day, mm -hmm. That's the mindset. Niliwa sumbua di nilikuwa nafika apo. Nikitoka job nafika apo. Nasema, I'll not leave you till you guys gave me the donations that we want to take to those. So waka niambia, eh, umetu sumbua sana. Endo wambia wakupatia kenyo unataka, pelekea kwa atoto. So, that's who I am. That's how I deal with. Wow. Hey, woo. guys, if you're going to take something away from this conversation, let's take that. Resilience, it works. Be persistent. Be persistent. Do what you gotta do. Hashtag is why in the morning. Have you ever started out a project and it didn't just go the way you want? Have you ever? 
Okay, let me say to be honest, I've never, mm. I've never done a project it fails. Why? Being focused mm -hmm. to what I want to do. Mm. Despite the challenges, despite no money, I'll remain focused. I'll remain like this. Then you know one thing, if you stick to the time or rather the date that you want to do the project, that's what will keep you moving. Then people always have high hope in me. Why should I disappoint the public? Mm -hmm. Because if I go maybe to a children's home, I'm like, I'm coming on a certain date. I've given them and I've found that I'm coming. Why should I disappoint them? So with having such a picture, like they'll be like, Steph Mbono Jakuja. So it makes me more hard work. It makes me more hard working in all I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I'll run up, up and down. It may look like it, I'll not get the target that I want for the day, but that's not the end. It's not over until it's over. Usually when I meet very hard people, hard-working people like you, they run the risk of either stress or burnout, you know. Yani, you've done all you can, you've poured yourself, I don't even know how to explain this guys, you have given yourself entirely to a cause or a purpose and sometimes there are obstacles so there's definitely instances where you'll be frustrated or there'll be instances that you want to give up. How do you deal with that? Yeah, that's true because there's a time you feel like giving up. You're checking at the week, like you're checking at the date is almost approaching, mm -hmm. but you're like, you have not yet reached the goal of the project, mm -hmm. the goal of the project that I'm going to do. So how I handle it first is I try to relax myself because if I accumulate so much, mm -hmm. I'll end up even saying, ah, I'll not do it. Mm -hmm. So first of all, how, how I deal with it, I can say, I'm a, I'm a woman of prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is the first strategy because when you talk to your God and God really sees what you want to do, mm -hmm. he makes ways. He brings people in form of suits to promote you. Mm -hmm. He brings people in form of suits to support what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Apart from prayer is, uh, apart from prayer when I have so much accumulation of stress, I reach out first, I give out first to my team. Then, you know one thing, at least, when you have a team who are supporting you, that's also one strategy, as in that's one good ahead. Because if you're working alone, you'll not do it. You're the one doing this, you're the one doing that. You'll not accomplish. So also when it comes to my team, I usually tell them, despite the fact I'm so stressed up in this, I still have hope in them. Because if you lose, your, if you lose hope in your members, who else are you going to turn to? Because those people, they may not have the same skills that you have, but always be cheering up, cheering them like you're doing a good job, continue doing. Because at the end of the day, if not all of them, but one can bring the desire. And when you get one result, you are even sucked up. Mm -hmm. The stress that you had is gone. I like that. So celebrating the small wins is important. Celebrating the small wins. Uh -huh. They say, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. How do you pick your team? All right. Uh, first of all, despite the crowd, despite the voices th coming to me like, Steph, we want to work together, I have to watch you. I have to see how you're doing. Because some people, they come to the projects in the aim of achieving something. Mm -hmm. Because so many, like, for instance, so many people have come up with NGOs. But when you check at the history background, some of them are not operating. Why? because they were after funds, as in they were after benefiting My. themselves. Mm -hmm. So I have to watch out. Because you want to give out to the community, what have you done? Because there's some people, despite the fact they have not done something, I have to watch out what have you been doing on to? What have you, then the first time you're new on my team, I'll first follow up how you've been doing, how you've been doing your things because I usually tell my members, despite the fact you're in my team, I'm not after money, but I'll be so watchful in how committed you are to your project. Because Uneza Kwana projects, or maybe you're in a group, mm. others are just, they're not talking, others they're not replying to texts, others they're not even doing a step to what we want to achieve. Mm. So, despite the fact you tell me that you want to work with, Okay, first of all, I will allow you because I'm not good to judge. Despite the fact you have not done anything, I'm not good. But the first 
few weeks I'll be watching how committed you are to everything that you're doing because even you without uh, despite the fact you don't have money but you're available you're on the ground you are there like Steph I'll help you I'll reach out to this shop I'll do this that's the first step I'll be like truly you're holding the vision that we want to achieve at the end even though it will take years but you're committed to that mm -hmm. so when I come to picking up my friends I chose people who are in line with my vision because if you're against there's no way we can match mm -hmm. but if you're in line with my vision you're in line with giving back joy like you're excited mm -hmm. because like for instance since you like like street kids like let me use the term chokora but you cannot stand you cannot stand them you cannot want them to so such a person we cannot relate so i have first to take you to the ground to see your reactions even though not be there but i'll be watching how you're doing things by people who have been working with they watch over you how you have been doing your things mm. that's that's key that's very important it's exactly. like a vetting process haha <laughs> yeah, you do a lot of things okay <laughs> so i have a question and and please forgive me for framing it this way but this generation is for taking pictures for everything you know if you go to Mombasa one day we won't sleep because you know it's pictures and it's fine you know it's it's your platform that you're posting them on and so that you're forcing me to read or like or you know see but there's a way that we are told if you're giving you don't need to take pictures to prove that you're giving but it's also a bit not correct to not show because maybe me as a donor I've given you some things you know, so that you go and distribute and I expect to see where it has gone because I, I could assume that you have just used it for your own purposes so where is the balance where is the line for I've given mm. genuinely from my heart and I don't need everyone else on social media to see but my sponsors or my donors my sponsor please Please, Miliari Buluga is, is just someone who is giving you something, okay? Don't 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 go left. Yeah. Focus. Focus. We've been told to focus. So if it's a donor, let's use a donor. A donor who has given me merchandise of whatever form or manner. Maybe it's food, maybe it's I don't know, some transport, perhaps. I don't just something. And they want to see what you have done with what they have given you. Kuna mali nafika ni maringo. Alright, uh, that's a very good question. So, first of all, the person that knows you better is yourself. And first of all, the aim of the picture, people will talk, people will not stop talking because you still need other donors to support. And some donors, they will need to have the previous pictures of the projects that they have been doing. And I can say it's not a show because there's some people also who follow up on your social media platforms because if you don't update how they come to get you because there's some donors, you'll not look at them, you'll not call them, but they're watching. Mm -hmm. They're watching what you're doing because let me say personally, the people who I'm working with who have been supporting me, it all came from I myself updating in the social media platforms because I cannot say that I'm staff, I'm donating, and I don't have pictures. Then the other thing for the purpose of the pictures is for documentation. How will you prove yourself that you have been doing it? You don't have a documentation of the pictures on your social media platform. Because one thing I've realized when it comes to sponsors, you must have so much uh, likes mm -hmm. for people to follow up what you have been doing. If you have not been updating, if you have not been, as in, you have not been keeping it live. There's some friends also who will call me like, Steph, how are you doing? I don't need you to send me the pictures, but just give me your social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So when he or she gets to view what I've been updating, he, he will go tell the rest. He, uh, the chain goes like that. Mm -hmm. So me, I cannot say it's not a show off because you're the one who knows as to why you're updating. Then it's always said like, 
count your blessings one by one. Mm -hmm. How will you not count if you're not updating? At least you're updating to celebrate. Mm -hmm. This is what God has done in my life. It was tough as we are preparing. But one way of expressing the joy, let me just pause. Whosoever will view it like as a show of is their own problem because this life you'll never face, you'll never you'll never live without critics. Critics are there so that they can make you hard, they can make you strong, they can make you keep moving because if people talk, you'll die. So let it's them true. talk. It's true. If you take everything people say to heart, it will it will finish you and you won't do anything. Like she said, focus is key. And now that we've been talking about social media, how can we find you on social media? And if there are people who are watching you and want to reach out and want to help, whether they're giving you their, their time or you know funds or a skill how do we offer that to you all right uh, i call myself embracing the community so when you want to find me on the social media it's embracing the community initiative and uh let me just talk about as to why i call it embracing the community Tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh these people the streets the orphans the vulnerable families the people who are disadvantaged, that is the disabilities, they need people to show them love. They need people to build them with love. So when I come in, I surely tell them, I'm coming to embrace you. I'm coming to put you inside my heart because I always tell myself that when I come into contact with you, I'm coming to build a home in your heart. Not to see me as a madam, but see me as a sister that you can call to. Because... Uh, the reason for my existing to call myself embracing is build a happier world with love. Despite the fact there will be trouble world, despite the fact there will be a world of no one to care, but through me embracing the community, I'm coming with love. Mm -hmm. I'm coming with joy. I'm coming with hope. Despite the hopeless situation, I'm coming to embrace. I'm coming to putting smiles to your love. Mm -hmm. I like that, and I'd like to smile. <laughs> yeah, do you like to smile? You should be smiling with us all the time. Try to on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Would you like to give your closing remarks? All right. First of all, I'll say thank you for hosting me. And to you, viewer, that really once we meant the broken people together in this, because so many people are facing a lot. But if you may get to... Uh, if you may come, we come together, we find ideas on how we are going to change the society, it will be a best place to be. And I usually tell people, don't look at the government to cause a change. Mm. If the world does not cause an atmosphere of joy, be the one that will cause a change because so many people are looking into the government to support them. So many people are looking at so many people. It starts from each side. When you start from little, there will always be a promotion on that. Because if you're not faithful in little, you cannot be faithful in much. Start from where you are, re recognize your vision, your purpose in your life. Because when you recognize who you are as to where you are born, you'll find yourself doing the extraordinary, the imaginary that you didn't know that you'll do. But it started from inside. Mm. So I welcome you. Come with build the smiles together can we cause a change because this world it's so many changes to be done but unless you make a step you'll keep on saying serikali's idea <laughs> okay so me a kitty need they are cura for free. Don't even have to campaign for me. You, you, I'm sold, guys. Sold. Styled, seen, delivered. I don't know what else to say, but I can assure you we do have more on why in the mornings. I told you it's until 10 a.m. To me, figure. Mm, no, I don't want to say it. <laughs> but please stay. Please do stay. Hashtag is why in the morning. <laughs>
Y254